Hi, it's Sunday with Sarah. I'm Sarah Baldwin, owner of Bella Luna Toys. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I get a lot of questions from parents, uh, comments on the blog, emails, phone calls from parents who want to know my top favorite um, picks of Waldorf toys or top recommendations. Um, a lot of these parents want to um, transition from plastic mainstream toys to more natural wooden and Waldorf toys um, or want to transform their child's bedroom or playroom and they want to know what are, are, are the must-haves. So today I'm going to share with you five of my top favorite toys, Waldorf toys, and tell you a little bit about them. So um, let me show you. This is uh, one of my very favorites. This is our little heavy baby doll. And um, this is a weighted doll. This is a smaller, two sizes we carry. Um, this one is two and a half pounds, and the bigger heavy baby is four and a half pounds. And what's so special about these dolls is they are filled with millet that has been scented with lavender. So they smell amazing. And, um, and He's dressed in, in cotton velour, organic cotton velour, so soft. And this doll, because of its weight, has the feel of a real newborn baby. And it's just so calming and soothing for a child to hold. And also, as an adult, every mom I've ever handed this doll to has the same reaction. She'll take it and go, oh, 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 surprised by the weight. And then begins to bounce it and rock it or put it on its shoulder because it's just so real and lifelike. These are handmade um, for us by a doll maker in, in the U.S. and this is just one of my very, very favorite items. And um, I'll do another blog post someday on boys and dolls and why I think all boys should have a baby doll. But this is a great doll for either a boy or a girl and especially good for a child who needs calming. Um, another top recommendation, classic Waldorf toys, um, although they're not really toys, but playthings, is a basket of play silks. And here I've got a basket of all different colors. These are beautiful silks from Sarah Silks. Another question I get is, am I Sarah of Sarah Silks? No, I'm not. That would be Sarah Lee, who's been dying and selling play silks and silk playthings for many years. Uh, from California, though she used to live in Maine. And what's wonderful about play silks is they're so nourishing for a young child's senses. They're just so soft and silky to touch. Um, that's one feature of Waldorf toys is um, when they're nourishing to the touch, they're they're also kind of calming and and invite a certain kind of gentler play. So play silks can be come dress up, they can become a cape, they can become a veil, um, a child can be a, a pirate, it can become a belt to hold a wooden sword. And the other way they're played with is um, children will make setups Here's a basket of Ostheimer wooden toys, and uh, a green silk can become a field for farm animals. The farmer's wife. Or you can use silks in puppet plays, or children will make a story with their wooden figures or, or other puppets. And let's see. A blue silk can become a pond for the ducks to swim on. If you had a brown silk, it could become a mountain. So sometimes adults uh, See these basket of silks and things. These are toys. How you know what? How do children play with them? But you give a basket of play silks to a child, and they 
have no trouble finding all kinds of uses for them, uses that uh, we haven't even imagined yet. Um, over here, these are Waldorf play stands, and I had two pairs of these in my classroom, and they are another classic Waldorf toy that can be used in so very many ways. Um, the shelf can become um, a little puppet theater. Um, they can use the shelf for playing store. And then with this, uh, it comes with or without this arch or canopy. If you put the canopy on top with it, this is a, a long silk scape, a long silk from Sarah's silks draped over. So of course it can become a little house. And parents often ask me uh, about dollhouses and should they'd like to get a dollhouse for their two or three year old. But I always tell them a child, a two or three year old, doesn't need a, a dollhouse to put dolls in. They need to build a house and be inside it. They like to nestle and get cozy inside. So um, play stands are really great and another toy that can be used in so many ways. Without the canopy on it, you can take the two play stands and move them around in different configurations. You can use them to wall off a little corner of a room and perhaps wall off a little play kitchen. And here's another one of my favorites. A wooden play kitchen, like this one, invites children to imitate the work of adults, which is something young children love to do. They see their mommies and daddies cooking. They like to pretend to cook. And um, you could even, if you have room, put a play kitchen in your real kitchen and they can pretend to cook alongside of you. It's nice to have a little table and chairs near this so they can have tea parties and cook and entertain. But um, I found the play kitchen corner in my kindergarten classroom was the most heavily used area of the classroom. And last but not least is my very number one top recommendation. And if you've been following me any length of time at all, you've probably heard me talk about them before. And that is the Waldorf rocker board. It's just a curved piece of wood, and the children will rock on it. Now I'll show you how strong it is. We've tested this with a 250-pound man, and... Uh, it will, it's really strong. It's holding my weight. And I'll tell you, this is a great workout, even for an adult. We have these in our office, and sometimes when I need to, to relieve a little stress or, or just move, if I've been sitting at my desk too long, I'll get up and rock on the board. But so children will stand on it and rock on it like this. A small child will lie on her back on it. It becomes a, a cradle. It can become a cradle for a baby doll and you can flip it over and it becomes a bridge again so strong it will hold me trip trap trip trap trip trap went the three billy goats graph over the bridge and it can become another stage for a puppet play um, it's got so many uses. Oh, and you can also put one end up on a, on a table or on the end of a play stand or coffee table, and it becomes a slide. When you have four of them, it will make a complete circle. And children, in my classroom, I had four of them, and they'd make a little nest inside. And this is just such a quintessential Waldorf toy because it's simple, it's open-ended, which means it can be played with in any number of ways. There's not one right way to do it. But um, there you have it. Those are my top picks. And we're going to do a special giveaway for one of these rocker boards. Um, so if you're watching this video on YouTube or Facebook, be sure to come to my blog, moonchildblog.com, for a chance to enter your own Waldorf rocker board. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.
Thank you.